Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the Global Conveyor Belt. The Global Conveyor Belt is a series of ocean currents that snake around the world. They are called thermal haline currents because they are the result of changes in temperature and salinity. The adjective thermal haline is derived from thermo referring to temperature and haline referring to salt. Cold water is more dense than warm water and water of high salinity has a greater density than less salty water. These changes in temperature and salinity create currents in the ocean. The conveyor belt begins on the surface of the ocean near the pole in North Atlantic. Here the water is chilled by the Arctic temperature. It also gets saltier because when warm, when ice forms in the ocean, the salt does not freeze and is left behind in the surrounding water. The cold water is now more dense due to the increased salinity and temperature and sinks towards the ocean bottom. Surface water moves in to replace the sinking water and creates a current that moves south towards the equator down towards the ends of Africa and South America. The current now travels around the edge of Antarctica where the water cools and sinks again as it does in the North Atlantic. Thus the conveyor belt gets recharged. As it moves around Antarctica, two sections split off of the conveyor and move northward. One section moves into the Indian Ocean, the other into the Pacific Ocean. The two branches of the current warm and rise as they travel northward, then loop back southward and westward. The non-warm surface waters continue circulating around the globe and eventually return to the North Atlantic where the cycle begins again. The conveyor belt moves at a much slower speed than wind-driven or tidal currents and it's estimated that a cubic meter of water takes roughly a thousand years to complete the journey on the global conveyor belt. The conveyor belt is important because it provides vital ocean nutrient and carbon dioxide cycles. Warm surface waters are depleted of nutrients and carbon dioxide, but they are enriched again as they travel through the conveyor and around the world. The base of the world's food chain depends on the cool, nutrient-rich waters that support the growth of algae and seaweed. So there we go, the global conveyor belt, keeping the oceans different, full of nutrients, and happy. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.